This is my old computer, one that now no longer works. Reason? Well, when I start it up, normally you should hear a beep sound from the post. Power on self-test. That beep is not occurring. But basically, just to give you an overview on what my old system was like, my hard drive is 250 gigs, which is adequate. It's SATA 2, supposedly, with up to 3 gigahertz, or 3 GB slash S, probably gig gigabytes or gigabits, I'm not sure which. I don't remember, but it's more likely gigabits. You got 1.5 gigs of RAM, that's those red things down there. That's this big thing here is the video card. NVIDIA uh, 7600 GT. And this card over here, that's the sound card. It's the uh, Creative Platinum, X5 Platinum. Of course, I've got some of the things all connected. And, of course, my CD slash DVD burner. You might notice that's so quite a bit of it's not connected to anything. It was to rule out to see if, well, what the problem was, why my computer wasn't posting, as they often call it. That's the front, and this is my big TV-like monitor. Yeah, it kind of resembles a TV. It's 1920 by 1440. Let's talk and see the big, huge screenshots. These are my speakers. First, I got the other one over here. Macaroni. No, I'm not trying to advertise it. But that's basically what my old computer is. Oh, yeah, and the processor, which is hidden under the power supply, that is a Pentium 4, 3.0 gigahertz Prescott, which means it's hot. But let's go look at my new computer now. This is my new one. Or at least... I haven't put anything together yet. Okay, that's one side, and here's the other side. But, let me rotate this thing. And this is the back side of it. Of course, there's, like, nothing really much in here. The reason for that is because I haven't gotten to putting it together yet. So, Let's walk through the various components here. This is supposedly the 120 millimeter fan that this thing's got. This symbol seems to be very common. Or at least I'm seeing it a lot lately. This is for the mouse. This is for the keyboard. This is for USB. That's where you put your printer and stuff in, or at least USB devices such as my camera here that I'm using. This is supposedly for networking or at least that's what I use for using the internet, sharing DSL, 4 megabits per second downstream, 512k up. This, I'm not exactly certain what it's for. This, I'm not sure what it's for either, but I think it might be for a uh, video card. That's for a printer port, but I have USB, and that seems to be the most common. These are for audio. These three here are for audio. That's microphone. And yes, I've got one of those. That's that little pokey red black thing right there. And these two are where speakers go into. This, I'm not sure what it is, but looking at the symbol here, it seems to be for a joystick. And when you insert new cards, such as video, TV tuner, whatever, that's what all these little slots here are for. But basically, that's what my new computer looks like. So, let's let's go look and open it up. This thing is advertised to be tool-free. This is the original box it came in. See? It's is tool-free. Okay. To do that, basically it seems that I learned best by fiddling around with things. But eh, for this, I'm probably going to have to get it on the side. It's kind of hard to hold the camera at the same time. So, unscrew these things. Whoa. Make sure I don't lose them. So, put them off over here. Nice spots, I know. Yes, that's my MP3 player with my notes on it. 
two drinks in one night just today. It's not unusual. My speakers for my MP3 player. Playing Metropolis from Sonic 2, 85% true speed. Okay, let's get the other screw anyway. I just put those over there so they're in a safe, easily findable place. And one of the first things you might notice is it's got nothing in it. Unlike that one over there, it's got a lot in it. But I have to go put it together. See, but this is a brand new thing. You can tell that the bag's there. It's got the, the little tie wrap thing on it. So these are just screws. Of course, that's how you mount things. This area here, all in here, this is where the motherboard goes. Okay, that's that huge fan. Of course, I'm getting some screwy angles in here. And this is where all the, the CD drive and hard drive go. That's probably where the hard drive and floppy drive go. But since I'm now no longer really even using a floppy drive, that they can probably just leave out. Because I really have nothing for it, except the Zilliard, but that game uh, can't even run anyway. And that's where all, this here is where all those cards get plugged into. But, let's go look at some of the other details, or elements. No, not elements like fire, ice, chemical, or whatever. I'm not referring to that kind of element. Or elements as in hydrogen, helium, lithium, and so on. But, this is my new processor I'm getting. It's supposedly eight times faster, but I have yet to test that. Core 2 Duo. It's essentially the brain of the computer, that's what the processor is. Also known as a CPU. Intel. It's pretty much the only brand I'm really familiar with, although there is AMD. I'm not too very familiar with AMD. But, that's the processor. But, I often hear that stock fans are often not really that worthy. So, I got myself a fan. Of course, I'm not sure about how it works, because I'm seeing on here that it's for all Intel Pentium 4 and Pentium D. Which, but it says it's LGA 775, which is what this thing is, so it should work. I have yet to test that, though. But, if that doesn't work, I can still return it and use the stock fan for now. But, let's go on with more. The motherboard is essentially where all the components are hooked up. It's kind of like the nervous system in a sense, or how everything is all interconnected. But this is the motherboard. Of course, in the original, currently unopened box, because I just got the stuff. But, as you can tell, you know, I use the energy saver, because I'm after saving energy. Because after all, I feel that donating one dollar toward environmental stuff was actually like donating 20 to Red Cross or whatever. That has that much of an effect. At least that's how I feel it. But that's basically the motherboard. And, of all things, my current DDR400 memory won't work, so I had to get some more memory. DDR2 in this case, or 800 megahertz. In case you can't read that, that is... For 4 gigs of memory. 4 gigs on a 32-bit operating system. Hmm, not a problem. But, then again, I'll only be able to use about 3 and a quarter or 3 and a half gigs worth. But still, it's uh, more than double what I currently used beforehand. But, this stuff is so dirt cheap nowadays that I found it worth getting. So what do I use the memory for? Undo history with pro image editing programs and other things. But that's basically all I have it for. So that's all my components. So let's start building it.